Welcome to the DuraCloud Vault introduction video. My name is Carissa Smith and I am the Services Manager at DuraSpace. Today I'll be giving a quick demonstration of the DuraCloud Vault interface. Of course the first step is navigating to your DuraCloud Vault account and each Deepin member who decides to use DuraCloud Vault as, uh, as their method of ingesting their content into Deepin will have their separate DuraCloud Vault account set up on their behalf and it will be located at the URL uh, of your choosing. So it will be your institution named at duracloud.org. Um, in this case, I simply have a demo account called vault.duracloud.org that I can navigate to in any uh, web browser of, of my choice. And I'm also going to, to log in to the application. Uh, one note about logging in, DuraCloud does enable uh, multiple uh, individual user profiles to have access to a DuraCloud account. So you don't need to just share one username and password. Uh, as a DuraCloud Vault user, you can have multiple uh, username and password combinations for the multiple uh, individuals at your institution who will need to prepare content uh, into Deepin. Upon logging into your DuraCloud Vault account, the first thing that you will notice is on the left-hand side of your screen, the Spaces column. A DuraCloud space is analogous to a content container, a content bucket. It's essentially a, a mechanism to store the materials that you will be preparing to transition to Deepin. Spaces in DuraCloud are, are meant to stage your materials before they are transitioned into Deepin um, and their final preservation uh, location. So the first step will be adding a space to your DuraCloud Vault account. Simply click the Add Space button at the top of the Spaces column and add a space with the name of your choosing, at which point that new space will be listed in the uh, Spaces column. And in the center part of your, your screen, you will see after clicking on the space name, uh, the content items that will be stored in the space, and then the detail for the space on the right-hand side. Next, we'll upload some sample material into uh, this account through the web interface. This is kind of the easiest way to very quickly uh, add a few content items to your DuraCloud Vault interface. Uh, there is also a uh, bulk upload tool called the DuraCloud Synchronization Utility or Sync Tool, um, which uh, will be detailed in a separate training video. For the purposes of this demo, I simply used the web upload tool, drag and dropped five puppy photographs into uh, my puppy's space. And now upon clicking on a content item, I'll see the content detail panel on the right hand side of the screen. And if I scroll down to the bottom of the content detail panel, I am able to add properties, uh, name value pairs, as well as one word tags to these individual items uh, if I wish to do so, uh, for the purposes of today's demo, I wanted to show how not only the content items but also their associated properties are preserved um, through this DuraCloud Vault interface, um, are sent to too deep and along with the content, and are then restored with the items um, when they are pulled back from uh, deep in storage. So uh, again, I've just added uh, a couple sample properties and tags to the content items. Once I'm happy with the content uh, in my space, my staging area, and have added the properties and tags that I wish to do so, I'm going to snapshot this material and send it to Deepin by clicking on the space and then clicking on the snapshot button that appears in the space detail area on the right. In the subsequent pop-up screen, I'm going to optionally add a description for this collection of materials that I will be sending to Deepin. And then the interface will report to me that the snapshot is in the process of being generated. And the next series of steps will show uh, the changes in the interface as that material moves to Deepin. So in the space detail area now, we can see that the snapshot has been initialized and is pro in process. And we can also see the associated snapshot ID um, that was generated by DuraCloud Vault. If I click on either the button or on the snapshot name itself in the left-hand column now, 
you can see the five items as well as the automatically generated collection snapshot properties um, that are part of this collection or snapshot of materials. I can see details including the description as well as the status for this snapshot as it's being moved to deepen. And then if I click on the uh, puppies space, you'll notice that I can view uh, the list of items as well as that collection snapshot properties uh, here, but I can no longer add any additional materials to that space. It has become read only. And again, on the right hand side of the space detail, you'll see the analogous snapshot ID um, for the snapshot that was just generated from that space. Uh, again, I'll note the status is waiting for deepen, meaning that the, the snapshot in this collection of materials is waiting to be uh, pulled into a, a deepen, uh, deepen node. And um, if I click on this snapshot again um, and reload the information, uh, the status will be updated as this snapshot and collection of materials moves through uh, the various stages um, and, and before it is added into, into Deepin. Ideally, this, this um, process wouldn't happen within just a few minutes of a demo. Um, it will take several, several hours for materials to move out of DuraCloud staging um, and down to, uh, down to the correct Deepin storage area. The next status that you will encounter in the snapshot detail area is that of cleaning up. And what that means is that the uh, DuraCloud Vault interface has indeed moved your material uh, to uh, the deepened storage location as in, and is in the process of cleaning out the uh, staging storage and all of the content items that are in the staging area. You'll also see uh, history being updated in the snapshot detail area, including potential alternate IDs um, for the snapshot, including perhaps the bag IDs that were generated, the deep in bags um, that are associated with the snapshot, and perhaps even the storage locations for uh, the this snapshot and its associated deep in bags within the infrastructure. This him history information has not been standardized within Deepin. Uh, the purpose of showing it in this demo is to indicate how it could be presented to you, the, the Deepin member who's depositing content in the DuraCloud Vault interface. Certainly there's flexibility here to show um, additional history information or information that's of interest to you, so please don't hesitate to offer uh, suggestions there on what you would like to see um, as part of the history for the material as it is uh, propagated through the Deepin uh, infrastructure. The final status that you will see in the snapshot detail area is that the snapshot is complete. At that time you'll have the ability to download the metadata for this snapshot uh, and the information that is being preserved in Deepin. There will be several files in this zip collection uh, of metadata. One of those is the collection snapshot properties file that was generated by DuraCloud Vault and that is being uh, preserved in Deepin alongside the actual items. Uh, it gives you the details again such as the description that we entered the uh, user who added the uh, content, created the snapshot and added the content to Deepin. There is also a content properties uh, JSON file that has the items as well as those properties and tags um, in, uh, again, in the content properties JSON file. And then there are also two, uh, two additional text files uh, a manifest with MD5s for the content items that are being preserved in Deepin, and then a SHA-256 manifest uh, as well. So you'll have that uh, information for the content items that you have added uh, in the snapshot in this collection and that are being preserved in Deepin. Additionally, uh, when the snapshot is completed, 
you'll see that now the original puppies staging space is empty. All of that staging content is now gone. And you have the ability to upload more materials into this same space, create a new snapshot um, with, that same, uh, with that same puppy's name, or certainly you can create additional spaces as well. The next and last step that we'll be demoing today is how to restore materials from Deepin. Uh, instead of a grayed out restore snapshot, um, let's pretend that there's a button there that says request snapshot that will be available in the next release. And as a Deepin member using DuraCloud Vault, you can request a snapshot to be uh, restored to your DuraCloud Vault interface. What will happen in the background is that the DuraCloud Vault team will get an email and we'll start the process of enabling that restore on your behalf. So once you have requested a restore and it has been approved, um, you will then see a new space in your DuraCloud Vault area that has a name very similar to the snapshot. And you'll also see, of course, in the status area for this space, the fact that uh, the DuraCloud Vault uh, account is waiting for Deepin to restore your materials. You can also see information about the um, the last status message and the start date of uh, this restore. And there will also be a pending an end date and an expiration date, which I'll explain in just a moment. And of course, you can see in this restored space area the snapshot that the content will be being restored from. So there's a lot of reference back and forth between which spaces are analogous to which snapshots and which restored spaces are analogous uh, to which snapshots as well. Again, depending on the size of your collection, uh, this process may take several hours, multiple hours, or days if you're restoring multiple, multiple terabytes. Uh, the next status message will indicate that the material is being transferred to DuraCloud, and you can see some content items now appearing in this space. Um, and again, the start date is available to you, um, so you can track how long this process is taking. And then finally, the entire uh, collection of materials as well as the collection snapshot properties has been restored. The status message is indicating that the restoration is complete and you now have the ability to download these individual items uh, from your DuraCloud Vault account. Additionally, you'll see that the properties and tags that were originally added to this material um, as, the, as in one of the first steps of the process are also restored to, uh, du to DuraCloud Vault when they are, again, um, restored from deep in storage. And that, uh, in a nutshell, is how the DuraCloud Vault interface will be operating with, with Deepin to not only transfer and ingest your materials into Deepin, but also restore and uh, retrieve them, retrieve and restore uh, them from Deepin back to the DuraCloud interface um, if you need to have that uh, conducted on your behalf.